The main WP Advanced Uptime Monitor extension allows you to monitor your website's uptime by integrating with various uptime monitoring services through their APIs. For this video, we will be using Uptime Robot. First, let's get your Uptime Robot API key. Head over to the Uptime Robot website and sign up for an account if you don't already have one. After signing up and activating your account, log in and navigate to the My Settings page. Scroll down to the API Information section and create your API key. Copy this key as you'll need it for the main WP extension. Now log into your main WP dashboard and go to Extensions, then select Advanced Uptime Monitor. In the Settings tab, enter your Uptime Robot API key and click Save Settings. To set up a new monitor, go to the Monitoring tab and click the Create New Monitor button. A pop-up will appear where you can configure the monitor. HTTP is ideal for monitoring websites. It sends regular requests to the URL and checks the HTTP status codes like 200 for success or 404 for not found. Keyword checks if a specific keyword exists or does not exist on a web page. Ping is good for monitoring a server. However, this is not recommended for website monitoring, as the server might respond to ping requests even if the website is down. TCP ports is useful for monitoring services that run on specific ports. After selecting the monitor type, set a friendly name for your monitor, enter the URL or IP address of your website, and set the monitor interval. Choose the contacts to notify in case of downtime, and finally click the Create Monitor button. After the page is refreshed, we can see our new monitor in the table. To create monitors for all your child sites, simply click the Create Monitors for All Sites button. This will automatically create HTTP monitors for each of your child sites. Editing a monitor is easy. Just find the one you want to update. Then from the ellipsis menu, select Edit, make your changes, and hit Save Monitor. If you need to start or pause a monitor, simply click the Start or Pause button in the same ellipsis menu. If you want to check stats for a particular monitor, click the Info button in the ellipsis menu to see how it's performing. And if you ever need to delete a monitor, just click the Delete button. All of these actions, except for Edit, can also be done in bulk. Simply select the desired sites in the table, choose the actions from the Bulk Actions menu, and then click Apply. Let's switch to the Recent Events tab. Here you will see a list of notable activities for all of your monitors. So if a site goes down and then up, both of those events will be logged here with additional information such as the date and time and the duration of the event. 